Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. Uh, more on the Arduino. Uh, I'm re really loving how easy it is to do some pretty cool stuff uh, with this thing. Uh, so just to give you a quick introduction of what I got going on here, uh, right here on the bottom, this uh, board, it's actually on there pretty tight, but the board here on the bottom is the Arduino. This red board here I've got that runs this way is the uh, double extender shield made by the folks at Liquidware, and what that allows you to do is hook up two different shields on top, which is really useful. So here's what I've got: I've got the Arduino, the extender shield, and then in the top position I've got the uh, input shield, which is also made by the folks at Liquidware. And then here I've just got a little um, Lady Ada or Make Maker Shield, Maker Shed uh, prototype shield, which just gives me a little breadboard and the pin. So um, just to clarify, you know, if you were to, you know, say you wanted to do, you wanted to ground pin 7, that pin 7 is the same in this instance as that, the pin 7, uh, oops, where is it, um, excuse me, it's over here on this side, they're flip-flopped, but um, all it does is duplicate the ports. So what I want to do is I want to sort of start playing with this input shield, which is a really cool product. It's got an A button, a B button, it's got a joystick which offers four directional control or, or I guess yeah two directional control in each way and then a, it has a, it has a button as well and then on the underside of the um, of the input shield there is a vibrating motor which uh, I've been reading on the liquidware website you activate the vibrating motor by grounding pin 7 anyways what I want to show you today is a little introduction that I was something I've learned on how you uh, control uh, this joystick here the way this joystick works, and I think it's actually the way most uh, variable style input devices work, including this little flex sensor here, when you bend it, or I think, you know, also say a light sensor, like this little guy right here, is by varying their resistance based on um, the input value. So the more you turn this, the more it changes the resistance. So in order to use this switch, or this, excuse me, this uh, joystick to control this servo, what I need to do is figure out what the value range of this switch is when I move it. Is it you know zero to one hundred or zero to a thousand or zero to ten thousand? And I don't know. So we're going to use some code in the Arduino real quick to get to test the values of that. So let me show you. We know that this pin uh, from their Liquidor website is uh, the joystick moving in this direction is analog pin five. So let me set up my code here and show you real quick. All right, here's the code, and once again, if you can't read this or you want to copy and paste it, it's on the website, nyccnc.com. Uh, we start off by defining an integer as joy lateral equals 5. That tells us that it's on pin 5. We run the traditional void setup for the Arduino code. This might be new. Uh, it was new to me recently, which is the serial.begin9600. That's going to let us use a serial monitor, and 9600 specifies the baud rate. It's, I think it's just a generic value. Uh, you just need to make sure when you go into the serial monitor, which I can't do right now because I don't connect it, you've got 9600 selected. Then it, within our standard void loop, we're going to say, well, actually, I forgot it. Forgive me, I forgot it. Int POS equals zero. We need to allow a position for the joystick to read. Um, we do this code here. POS or position equals analog read joy ladder. So it's basically saying, give me a value which equals to the analog value of joy lateral, which we know is pin 5, and then in the serial window, print line the position. So let me uh, connect my Arduino here. So I've connected my Arduino. I flashed the code. If you click over here in the serial monitor, you'll see I've got 9600 baud selected. And so now what I'm going to do is just start moving the joystick. And actually, let me just focus in on here. And if you see the value when it, the joystick is straight up is at 515, when I push it up, it drops down to zero, and when I push it down, it goes to 1023. Let me zoom out and show you what I'm doing. Okay, you may not be able to read the values on the screen here, but they're 515 right now. When I push the joystick all the way forward, they drop to about, about zero or five, and when I go all the way back, they go to 1023. So now here's what we've got to do. We've got a sensor which reads from the lowest value of 5 to a maximum of 1023, but we've got a servo here that only goes in 0 to 180 degrees. 
So there's a really cool function in the Arduino IDE, which I'm going to show you right. Okay, here's all the code we actually need to run this program. But what I want to show you right now is the line that you see here called POS equals map. And then in parentheses, we've got POS, comma, 0, comma, 125, comma, 0, comma, 180. What this is doing is basically scaling the number down. So it's saying position equals, and then the map is saying translate a range of 0 into 125 into a range that's actually only 0 to 180, which is a really cool way of, or a really simple way from a programming perspective of saying, I've got a sensor that reads all the way from 0 to, one to, zero to 1,025, but I actually only want you to let the position equal a range of 0 to 180, so scale those numbers together. Um, so you see here, and I'll, once again, this code will be available on the website. It'll then write the server to that position, and then it delays 15 milliseconds to allow the server to, to get to that position. So let me uh, flash this code, and I'll show you how it Okay, so I flashed that code, and if you recall, the code had the, actually, I don't think we did, I mentioned it, but the server is attached to pin 9. So if you see here, I've got the yellow cable and the pin 9 here running over to the yellow cable of the servo, which is the input. The middle cable here, the red, it goes straight to plus 5 with this brown cable here, and the black cable goes to the ground, which I'm running here via two cables over to the ground bus on the uh, proto shield. So basically, to reiterate, you've got black as ground, the red is 5 volt, and the yellow goes to digital pin 9. So here's my joystick, and here's my servo. Push it all the way back, pull it. Pretty cool. It would be very easy to set up a second servo that would accommodate the uh, left and right motions as well, which I would do, but I don't have a second servo on me. That's all, folks. Thanks.